What's up guys, what's up, what's going on? So today, I totally screwed up the Osaka vlog. So basically, I'm gonna do Osaka in 30 for 40 seconds. Hi! Hi everybody. <laughs> Hey, hey. Are you guys all visiting Toronto? Yeah. No, we're from Toronto. We're Toronto. Oh, no, I'm from Oshawa. There's nobody here, but it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Kaki yeah. okay, everybody. It's gonna be so good. Are you guys dancing? <laughs> okay. What's <laughs> happening here? I'm sad. <laughs> that one looks crazy too. That one looks crazy. What the heck is that? How often do I get to go see a Japanese castle, right? <laughs> so I figured why not get these snaps in Osaka? Kyoto uh, to catch the sunrise at the bamboo forest. It gets really bright really early here. It's like sunrise is at 4:20 in the morning or something. Um, that's pretty early. There's also no garbage cans anywhere. If you're looking for a garbage can in Japan, there's one always beside a vending machine. That's how you find a garbage can. Yeah. You always want the seven two seats. Not the three. Oh man, their food looks good. They said that it was downstairs, but I don't know if I have enough time to grab one. Okay, so the bamboo forest is about a 15 minute walk from the station and I was hoping there's gonna be a locker here so I can put away the suitcase, but I guess there's not. Yeah. So my thought process is that I'm really here, it's just gonna be here for really quickly in the morning because I wanted to get a quick shot for my next uh, Japan video, which is gonna be like the big trailer that I wanna do. And yeah, I don't think I've ever seen bamboo or like natural bamboo before, so. When they said bamboo forest, I didn't think they meant... I thought it was going to go with, like through a forest. I didn't know they only meant like it's 100 feet. Which kind of sucks. It's actually kind of disappointing. And there's people that can drive through it too. They made the wrong one. Alright, so I met another Canadian. This is Angela from Vancouver. Hi! And she agrees this might be a little bit overrated. Super overrated. Yeah, it's... Unless we're just dumb and we did not find the rest of the forest. You know, that could be actually a thing. News update, we might have, there might be more ahead. This is actually now a proper bamboo forest. Not as lame as we thought. Maybe your friends thought they only went to that patch. I know, maybe they only went there. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, so that's the bamboo forest. I'm heading off to Nagia, she's heading off to the airport. It's, we just met, yeah. but we, we have to split apart. Aw, sad. Thanks, it was nice meeting you too. So, we're gonna do some crazy stuff in Vancouver then, right? Eat ice cream at the beach. I like that. Cool. All right, let's go. Until next time. Until next time. Yeah, these bento boxes look amazing. This looks dope. Alright, so I just made it to Nagia Station. Yes. 
And now we're heading off to Nagoya Castle. If you're in Japan, I would not rely on Google Maps for Nagoya and Osaka and pretty much anywhere outside of Tokyo. Mm. We found some ninjas! Oh, hello! Hello! Movie? Movie. Movie car. Movie. It's hello. very bright. Hello! Hello! We are Hattori Hanzo and the ninjas! Yeah. Welcome to Nagoya Castle! Yay! My name is Hattori Hanzo. I'm a Suide. Oh. Yay! Nice to meet you. Yeah. You guys should come check this place out, it's really cool. All, all the castles are kind of built the same way. This is supposed to be the largest one, but uh, typically it's the top floor is always an observation deck, and all the floors beneath it, uh, as you go up, is like the history of the clan that stayed in the castles. All over Japan, you notice this sign here. It's not a Nazi symbol sign, it's more of like a, I think it signifies temple. So, like, if you get to Japan and you're confused why there's so many Nazi signs anywhere. Not, the Nazi sign used to be something else in Buddhism, so that's why that's a thing. Um, cool. I bought food. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I should get ramen. I think it's fun, crazy fun. Yay. Oh, okay, so I guess this is city number three. So apparently things are way more expensive here in Hokkaido. A lot more expensive than I thought I realized. Uh, the JR pass doesn't work in this city. And like, to get a day pass here, it's roughly about 5,000 yen, which is like 50 American dollars. I have a Japanese bus stop waiting for the bus. This is what an onsen looks like. Oops. Outdoor onsen, what? I'm supposed to be nude, but yes. here and then head to bed so thank you guys for watching remember to like subscribe and yes this feels amazing all right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do the whole onsen experience and then i'm probably just gonna go to bed so you guys be good and i'll see you guys next time bye guys